Hi, my name is Jonathan. Welcome back to the channel. Now there are 37 keychain Victorinox knives available in their range. And in this video, I'm going to show you why I think the Victorinox Mini Champ Alox is the best of the lot. That's Okay, so there are three versions of the Victorinox Minichamp. There's the Alox one I've got here. There's also two with the original red Salador scales on. That's the ABS plasticky ones. Uh, one is the Minichamp and one is the Midnight Minichamp, which has a light built in. But let's focus on the Alox for the moment. So the small Victorinox knives are 58 millimeters long. There's 37 in the range. I think this is the best in this size, which we would probably call a keychain knife. This particular one is only 10 millimeters thick and it weighs 40 grams, so it doesn't weigh a huge amount. Oh, and if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel, it really helps. The Victorinox keyring knives are perfect for those people who don't necessarily want to be pocket carrying a, an everyday carry Victorinox like this compact, which is my everyday carry. The 58 mil Victorinox knives can go on a keychain and take up a lot less space and weight and yet offer a very similar level of functionality. I don't normally carry a keychain Victorinox, but I have to say this one is really nice. And this has really changed my, my view on this. I need to find a way, I think, of fitting this into one of my kits. So let's have a look at the tool set on the Mini Champ. And some of these tools really have a story to tell. So the Mini Champ keychain knife has the most tools out of all the keychain knives, but that's not necessarily the reason I've picked this one. This one is in fact not the heaviest or the largest. So let me explain by running through the different tools. So firstly, we have what you would expect, which is the small knife. As with most Victorinox knives, it is a drop point knife uh, stainless steel and comes very sharp out the box. Let me just show you how sharp that is. So very sharp knife indeed. So um, yeah, that's very functional. Uh, that's what you'd expect. And then we also have a tool that I wouldn't be without and that is the scissors. The Victorinox scissors are renowned for their quality. And uh, these are no different. They are very small, as you can see. I personally wouldn't have a Victorinox knife without scissors. Okay, then we also have a very useful tool here. And this is a combination tool and it's a really useful one. What we have here is a small Phillips screwdriver, which works really well. And that's brilliant for getting into those items where you're trying to get access to the batteries and there's a small Phillips screw getting in the way. It's also got a cap lifter, which again is very useful and a wire stripper. So you just put the wire in there and pull it. The screwdriver is really good. So it's a really nice, quality screwdriver here. But what's surprising is it works on some bigger screws as well. So that is a fairly heavy duty screw there. And it works perfectly well on that. I've had this tool on, on a few smaller knives and it's always been one of the most useful. So that's the first three tools on one side. Here we have a tool which again is really useful. I don't know if you can see, but we have a ruler there and we also have a small flathead screwdriver. And again, that is a very useful tool. So, so far we've got four really useful tools here. Another really useful tool is this, and this is a nail file and nail cleaner. So very practical. This is a you know really good file actually for your nails. Uh, it works really well. It's quite rough, but it needs to be. And then obviously you have the nail cleaner, which works really well. 
and is actually quite satisfying to use. Um, so that is a really practical tool to have on a keyring. And you can also use that as sort of a mini awl. Um, it actually does work really well to, uh, particularly in wood, just to create a pilot hole. So um, another really useful tool on this knife. Uh, then it starts to get interesting. Let me show you this one. So this tool is described as a cuticle pusher. Probably the most useless thing you could possibly want on a Victorinox knife. But the interesting thing is this didn't start life as a cuticle pusher. This was part of a medical series of tools on a medical Swiss Army knife that is no longer made. And this started life as, well, the, the jury's out a little bit. Uh, I've done quite a lot of research and two uses have come up from this, both in the medical field. One is for sorting tablets. So you get um, a load of tablets in a tray and you want to sort them into five or ten in order to put them into a bottle for someone. And this is regarded as a pill sorter. And then the other one is for medicinal powder. Yes, I know what you're thinking, where you would scoop powder and put it into perhaps a capsule so some sort of um, medical powder spoon but the reality is it actually makes a really good large-ish screwdriver because it's not that curved I don't know if you can see that but it's pretty flat so when you've got a big screw to open um, maybe the bottom of a battery compartment or something like that this actually comes into its own as long as you're not putting too much force on if you've got a really large screw you know, embedded deep in a piece of wood, you wouldn't use this because you risk just breaking it. But when you're trying to just undo a battery compartment or a, a large screw that's reasonably loose, then this has a real purpose. What I'm going to do, if you watch to the end of the video, I'm going to include some of the old photographs of that medical Swiss Army knife. Now, interestingly, there's two more tools on here that came from that medical Swiss Army knife. And this one is really nice. So this is another blade, but it's it's a different blade. This is a Warncliffe shaped blade, and that means it slopes to a fine point and it is super sharp. In the original medical use, this is referred to as a tracheotomy knife, believe it or not. The reason is you can be really precise. It's super sharp. It's like a scalpel and it's got a very fine point on it that you can very accurately place. And therefore you could imagine this could be used because you've got to know what you're doing if you're performing a tracheotomy in an emergency. And this appeared on the medical Swiss Army knife with that label as a tracheotomy knife. Now it's referred to as a backup blade or an emergency blade. And what you can do with this, which you can't really do with the other one, is very precisely cut. You can see exactly what you're doing. Like a craft knife or a scalpel, you can cut it really precisely and, and, um, and you can't do that with a drop point in the same way. So it's actually a really nice blade to have. And what I would suggest is this is probably not used unless you're doing some very precise work. Keep it really sharp in an emergency. I'm not suggesting you hang on to it in case somebody needs an emergency tracheotomy. But it's interesting that this came from the medical Swiss Army knife with that application. So I actually really like having this on this knife. I think it is actually a really useful tool. Then there's one final tool on here that I think is actually really useful. So this is referred to um, in the list of tools for this knife as an orange peeler, believe it or not. And it actually does function quite well as that because it's got a kind of blade here at the end and you can see it's sharp along 
here and the depth that that goes to is about the thickness of an orange skin so you can basically drag the blade around the circumference and then do it at 90 degrees to that and then you can start peeling the orange and it's a bit of an odd thing to put on a Victorinox knife and the reason is that's not what it was originally designed for. This also appeared in the medical knife and it has a very different application. This is called a cut and picker. And what it was designed for is to cut round the bottle of a pill bottle and there was some plastic on the lid that needed to be cut through and this was designed to cut through the plastic on the pill bottle and then as you might know in pill bottles stop the pills rattling about there's some cotton wool and the picker part of this is you stab it into the cotton wool and out comes the cotton wool it's a bit like a hook for pulling out the cotton wool and the the theory is or the suggestion is that when they discontinued the medical swiss army knife somebody suggested that they use the tools in another knife i.e. the mini champ and this tool only appears in the mini champ this is much more useful than an orange peeler and one of the uses you can use it for is for opening packaging you know this sort of packaging you can get where it is the opposite of frustration free basically it's impossible to get into and quite often it's sort of heat welded around the edge and this is quite thick plastic but what you can do with this knife is cut into it now if you use a normal knife to cut into it it's a little bit dangerous because you can go through and stab yourself which is never a good idea or you can stab the product inside it but what you can do with this is basically just pull it through like that and effectively create a window in the packaging and literally get into the packaging using this without risking any damage so all of a sudden i think in this mini champ all the tools have a purpose and they're all a little bit different and that's why i actually like it so much because like so many people i don't want to be carrying a, a a knife around where some of the tools are redundant or pointless. Okay, so let's quickly recap the different tools on this knife. The normal drop point blade, really practical for just general cutting tasks. The scissors for snipping, really super useful, wouldn't have a knife without one. Then we have the combination tool, bottle opener, wire stripper, and really useful uh, Phillips screwdriver. The possibly least useful tool on here albeit now a large flat-headed screwdriver, then all of a sudden it has a real use. Um, then we have the small rule with a small flathead screwdriver. Then we have the nail file and nail cleaner. Then we have the Warncliffe blade or the uh, emergency blade, or I like to look at it as a craft knife, sort of scalpel blade. And then what we are now referring to as the package opener. Okay, so let's look at some comparisons because competing with this for the number one title are the other two mini champs in the range. So we have the traditional mini champ with the Salador Red scales and also the Midnight mini champ with the light built in. And the reason I haven't picked those is because of the size difference. Let me just give you an indication of what I mean. So this is 10 millimeters in thickness which makes it really compact and on a keychain you want it to be as compact as possible. Now the traditional red version of the uh, Mini Champ is 15 millimeters in thickness so it's 50% thicker. What you get on the traditional Mini Champ is tweezers and the pen but the thickness is 50% more than this. And I actually don't think it looks as nice as this either. The other thing about the Salador scales, the red ABS plastic scales, is that they scratch. You know, normally if you've got a Victorinox knife in your pocket, you can keep it reasonably scratch free. If you've got it on a bunch of keys, then that's never gonna be the case. So you are gonna end up with a fairly scratched up uh, knife quite quickly. Whereas the A-Lock scales, they're gonna be much more durable. 
So that's the main reason I picked this. And if, you, if you're interested in the Midnight Mini Champ, which has got the light built in, that's 17 mil. Uh, thick so it's nearly twice the thickness of it so to me that's just getting a little bit too chunky from a price point of view this is the most expensive out of the a locks and the non a locks the non a locks is a bit cheaper even though you get a pen built in and the tweezers it's a little bit cheaper but it's also a bit heavier so for me size and weight are always important and this out the range of mini champs is the smallest in terms of thickness and also the lightest now i did look at other options as well and for those who are not that interested in the what i would call the medical tool set now if you just want the basic tool set then there is another option and that other option is the manager which i have here so this is the manager. It's interestingly, it's a two layer knife, whereas the Mini Champ is a three layer knife. But what's interesting is they are both about the same thickness. In fact, the Alox Mini Champ is a little bit thinner than the manager Salador scales, uh, red scale version. And that's because you can see how thick the red scales are and that's because in built there you've got the pen and that's how you operate the pen you just press that and slide it there you have the pen and you also have the the tweezers and the pen is actually genuinely useful it's pressurized refill so it'll write at any angle and obviously it's very compact. So if you really like the pen, then consider the Mini Champ uh, traditional model with the pen and the tweezers, but I accept it's gonna be a bit heavier and quite a lot thicker. If uh, you just want the basic tool set, consider the manager. On the manager, you've got the scissors and the knife, which is great. You also get the combination tool with the Phillips, which is great, and the flathead screwdriver. What you're not getting is the nail cleaner and file, which is actually a shame because the nail cleaner and file is really useful. So this is not a bad option. It's actually half the price as well of the Mini Champ. So if cost is a factor, the manager could be your one. But for me, I really like the additional functionality that comes with the Mini Champ. And um, I think all the tools on here uh, have a genuine use. And uh, the fact that this in the Alox version is so compact and well engineered, it's just a thing of beauty. So I am a, I'm a big fan of this. On the plus side, the tool set I think is really useful. And this has the most tools of any of the, um, the key ring Victorinox. And I think they all have a practical use. The, the looks, it looks great. The size, the weight, the quality, the durability, they're all going in its favor. Going against it would be the cost. It is the most expensive out of the options. Some people might need that pen, in which case uh, that will go against the a -Logs version. And also some people might think some of those tools aren't actually that practical and would rather just have a more basic tool set in which case the manager is a great option and half the price. But for me, the winner is this. This for me is the best Victorinox keychain knife you can buy. So as promised, here are some photographs of that Victorinox medical um, knife that has now been discontinued from which some of the tools on this have been derived and renamed. So here you can see a version of the pill sorter and on this one, you can see the cut and pick, and you can actually see it's named as such, and you can see where that definitely came from. This is referred to as a physician's knife, and you can see the Warncliffe blade on there, or the tracheotomy knife. Hope that's been useful. If you enjoy this sort of content, please feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. And I'm always looking forward to reading your comments. Please let me know what your favorite keychain Victorinox is or any comments on this video. So there you have it. I hope that's been useful. And as always, thank you for watching.